I'm Danny from Coralus, and you're here with Ed and I, and we got a special treat for you. We're here at my home, and we have the Predator tank, and we're going to show you the display and what we're adding to it. So, come on, let's go check it out. This is one of my favorite tanks in the world. Of course, it's my own, and my baby's over here. This is the Zebra Moray Eagle. He is like a puppy dog, and he comes up to feed, and will actually stick his head outside the tank when I am feeding him just to get his dinner. So very playful, very active, and very social. There's also a ghost ribbon eel in here and a few other things. The ghost ribbon's over here to the right, but the lights are going down and we found out that it's better to add the fish with the lights down than it is when they're bright. Oh, he thinks we're feeding them, so. Indeed he does. <laughs> <laughs> we never um, gave him. <laughs> We never gave him a proper name, so if you guys have any cool names that you can think of for the Zebra Moray, um, definitely let us know. <laughs> so, come on Ed, let's go around back here. Awesome. And Ed's being the cameraman, even though these are his babies, yep. these came from his aquarium. So. Yeah, I brought the good stuff. And he follows, look at that Ed. As soon as we walk back here, look who comes to wow. play. He wants to get fed. Yep, he's hungry, all right. So maybe I should throw in some silver sides and let him eat. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh <laughs> we got that on camera. <laughs> that's a big Aptasia. We just put in here some Burgai Nuda branch that we got. Yep. We're and gonna be breeding them in this tank right there. Yep. Oh, we there's the coral coral cast shark while we're at it. Sorry, Dan. No, no, he's awesome. Ed's the fish ID man. He knows all about the corals and the fish, so it's good to have him around. Yep. So let's show them what's in bucket number one. Awesome guys, so already in bucket number one we got a, uh, I think he's around seven inches, Vomingi Tang. We also got a uh, probably eight inches Sailfin Tang, just a regular, not Desjardini. A bigger than most you see in the hobby, like probably six or seven inch Niger Trigger. And finally but not least, a five, modest five to six inch Pink Tail Trigger. Already falling into the next bucket, we got classic um, Volatans lionfish, black. So very, very cool. I got them from Danny in the summer, actually, almost like a year ago. Unbelievable. And last but not least, check it out, guys. And this is not a small shark at all. If I put my hand next to here, that's the size of him. Yeah, he's crazy. And yeah, they, he will be going in this tank, right, Dan? Yep. So, we're hoping he's going to get along with everybody. Ed had all these fish in his tank, so they're already pretty socialized together, and they are accustomed to being in the same tank together. So, we're hoping the transition will not change that, and it'll go smoothly. But, as with any system and any fish, they're unpredictable, um, so you can never guarantee that they're going to get along. So, we'll watch them for the first couple days and see how what happens. But. Yeah, I guys, I've had this shark since it was like half the size. Originally got it, actually sold it to my buddy, Eric. And when he got his crocodile and stuff, yes, he has a Nile crocodile and stuff. I got it back and I've had it since. But I am da currently downgrading into a smaller tank. I want to focus more on corals versus fish. So it is going to Danny's tank now. And yeah, along with few other friends of mine that I will be parting with. Man, almost makes me emotional. <laughs> yeah, we'll look at a lot of attention here. This is where I spend most of my time when I'm not at the shop. I love standing behind the tank. The fact that it's viewable from both sides makes the fish more social. Oh yeah, definitely. It must make it. That must help just to some extent. Yeah, they don't really have a place to hide so they just kind of adapt to <laughs> they don't fight as much. Honestly, I've had so many fish in this tank that people said I couldn't put it in a tank together. So, I <laughs> contribute that to the rock work and to the openness. 100 likes and I'll put my hand on his spikes. No, I'm just kidding. More like a thousand likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say 100 is a little low, you think, Dan? <laughs> yeah, we better get 100 likes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, we're gonna put these guys in now. We are gonna need two hands for this. So Ed's going to help me, we don't want the shark wiggling out and um, getting hurt or falling oh, no. on the floor. Yeah, definitely so not. we're going to put down the camera for this part 
but we'll come back and show you guys in a few minutes uh, once they're in. And I'm also going to feed the zebra moray so you can see him eat and also we want him happy and, and fed before we add the other fish. So um, stay tuned for more. Beer bees all. All right, guys, this bad boy is ready to go in the big tank. We're going to put him in. Three, two, one. Ugh. This bad boy's got some weight to him. He's not a little fish. Uh, what do you think, Ed? Yep. You ready? Definitely raise him up. Oh, awesome. Come on, Your buddy. fingers are in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. He's so big. <laughs> wow, look at that beauty. Wow. Guys, check that out. Can you believe I raised that thing when it was literally fresh from the egg? Wow. That was awesome. Any any comments on that? Yeah, Dan? go around right front and check them out. Yeah. Freaking awesome. Oh yeah. Volatan's lionfish is also in. He's shooting himself up. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go around. Actually, I think we can see. Oh, he's like, oops! I accidentally hit the glass on accident. But yeah, you can see him. Is the lights off now? Uh, no, it makes it darker. I need a spotlight so you can see. Wish there was a focus button on this. Yeah, a little volatans lion. Yeah. And guys, we also have several tangs in this tank now. Well, two, by several, I mean two, but Vomingi and Sailfin tang, along with them. <laughs> <So cute. laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I can see them knocking over all the <laughs> Yeah, um, what else? Where did those tra- oh, there's one of them. Pink tail trigger. Guys, it's perfectly, perfectly normal. Little educational seminar right here. Perfectly normal for triggers to do that. They just like to hide like that. Especially since they're new to a stressful tank. You know, it's perfectly normal. Yeah, the other guy's down here. His tail, he got streamers. Yeah. That's what makes him so cool looking. Oh, yeah. Look at that shark. It's already, it, it looks like it's already at home, honestly. Oh, there's the Niger trigger. Yeah. Yeah, that thing looks like it's got like, it looks like it's home at home already. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take some food out right now, Peter. Yeah. Just to make sure everybody's happy. I'm hoping he doesn't kick and knock all that rock over. <laughs> He's got some muscle behind him. Oh, yeah. Compared to my little baby shark over here. <laughs> These beautiful colors are when he gets good. There's the coral be... cat shark. Ooh, Ooh. they're interesting. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Leo gave him a little kiss. <laughs> He is a little partial to hunting with sharks, which is pretty cool. So hopefully they'll sniff each other Oop. like each other. <laughs> he was rubbing up against him. <laughs> the first meeting. Next we're gonna have shark eel hybrids. He gave him the okay. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, these guys are cool. Yeah, very nice. Of course, we always do this at night time. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna grab some silver sides. And I'm gonna throw some in just because it's only right to feed them. Awesome. Alright, guys, we'll be back in a second once we get the silver sides. Silver sides. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see we got the clamshells too by Hikari, silver sides by uh, I don't know Hikari maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Hikari. Uh, yep. Sold in our store, and occasionally we hand them out once you spend a certain amount of coral. So keep that in mind. 
a while. Yeah, these things are awesome for the triggers. Puffers, and they seal them, which is nice. It's got a safety seal on it. Yeah. I can get my little fingers in here. So I'll throw these in. Yeah, they're probably scared, so they may not eat tonight, but I'll throw them in anyway. Oops, sorry. You good? So. What's he doing? Um, they're going. I'll throw two in the back and then one in the front. Any takers? Tangs? No? Yeah, we'll find them later. Yeah. yeah. But at least it'll keep the aggression down if there's food in the tank. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, guys. Food is key in some tanks, honestly. Food is key. The only problem is when you get more food, you get more nutrients. This is where it all began, huh, Dan? Yep. Not that long ago. Yep, before my time, guys. Yeah, this used to be packed with coral. All right, so, so these are the silver sides. We're gonna feed them to the tank in a minute. I'm just gonna let them thaw for a second and then I'll put them in the tank. Sometimes I'll break off little pieces and thaw them in the water jet just for fun, just to tease the shark. They start to smell it right away. Not Yale's waiting for his turn. Mm. Oh, he's waiting for it. There's one. You think the puffer will eat or is it too late in the day? You mean the lionfish? I mean the lionfish, yeah, I keep saying puffer. <laughs> Impossible. Oh, oh, he smelled it. Ooh. Yep, I ain't surprised there. Yeah, I'm just hoping he knows what he can fit through before he starts cramming his body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's, he's done it in my tank. Ooh, Ooh, check that out, Dan. Check it out. Oh, no, he's, well, you went the wrong way. Come on, shark, you went the wrong way. Oops, he's coming around, Dan. He's looking for this piece. Oh, he, oh, he got good. it. Yeah. Oh, your more eel might might be getting the nip in a second. The shark doesn't get to it first. It's funny though, I actually take turns eating sometimes. They're very polite, at least my fish. Really? <laughs> my fish are probably jerks, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, my moray will let the um, shark get his fill, and then he'll take some, which is pretty cool. Oh, my shark don't care. Look at him. So it's raining silver sides. <laughs> oh, looks like your go. shark's coming out to play, too. You want to go around front so you can see him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, guys, that's awesome. What, 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 ribbon what, 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 He's swallowing that thing. Oop. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so wow. funny. He's <laughs> doing the tango with it. Last time he ran his face into the wall to get it to swallow it. Oh, did he? <laughs> he's, he, he swallowed two at once. It's wow. unbelievable. I wonder if he got a brain freeze. Because <laughs> I didn't thaw it all the way yet. That thing was still frozen. <laughs> Close enough or no? I don't think so. Oh. Oh. 